I'm a big believer that we are the worst people to ask as, as business owners. We are the worst people to ask ourselves if this is a good idea, if this is a viable business. Uh, often we are more likely to be wrong than right. Mm. So what I like to encourage myself and others is let the market decide. Don't let yourself decide because you can't be your only customer. You need you know lots of customers to be a viable business. So uh, what I decided is I just put together a landing page with the promise of what the product will do, uh, some mock-ups, something that took me maybe uh, a couple of weekends to put together. And then I emailed everybody I knew, literally emailed every single person in my phone, everybody person I met at a conference. And I would say, hey, if you or somebody else you think would be interested in this, you could share this with them on social or share by email, let them know. And I basically... Uh, had a small little call to action that says, if you're interested in this, you can put a deposit for $150 uh, to secure a spot. Um, and it was important for me to actually charge and not say, mm. sign up if you're interested, because that's very easy uh, to say yes to. But right. when somebody has to part with their money, it really means I need a solution to this problem. And if you can offer me a solution, if there's a chance you can offer me a solution, people that have a really big pain point, really strong pain point, they're willing to try two, three, three, five, ten things to solve Absolutely. this problem when they're in pain. So um, that's really what I was trying to figure out. And I just allow the market to tell me if this is a good idea or not. And at the time, I didn't know that that people would say yes to this. Uh, but I I decided instead of me thinking this is a great idea or a horrible idea, let others decide. Right. And and I love the fact that you did. And, and I've, I've often heard even people talk about it. I, I teach a course on entrepreneurial marketing and I've had students tell me that they're in companies that do MVPs almost on a free trial basis. And I said, well, that's not an MVP because you haven't proven anything. Mm. You don't know. I mean, it's only when people actually open their wallet do you know, is there really a there there? Because a lot of things might seem, oh, yeah, why not? I'll, it's interesting, you know, but it doesn't mean they're ever going to do anything with it. But we'll say they put some money into it. That means there's real interest. And you also chose a number that wasn't onerous. It was a reasonable number if they had a real problem. And it didn't yeah. feel like you were taking advantage of them. So that's fantastic. I love that story, Omar. 